What is going on you guys, Vector here, and now in today's video, we will be discussing the pros and cons to the Giant. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Now let's start with pros. So our first pro is going to be colors. Now personally me, I love the colors that they're adding to Black Ops 3 Zombies. In Black Ops 1 and 2, they were just kind of like dulgent and really like crappy colors. But in Black Ops 3 Zombies, especially in the Giant, I love they're bringing in the nice vibrant colors. And so that is their first pro. Our second pro is layout. Now personally, I love that they not not changed much to the map and the layout is almost exactly the same because it brings back the nostalgia from Black Ops 1 and World at War when they made those remakes. Our third and final pro is the easy factor of this map. Now what I love is that this map, when I am just done of playing all the other big maps like Zetsubo no Shima, Shadows of Evil, and Derizendruck, I love, when I want to play more some of the zombies, I love to just come onto this map and chill, and it's an easy map to play, and I like easy maps. Now let's get on to the cons, the wonder weapons. Now the ray gun and the wonder waff are the only wonder weapons in this map. Now personally, I think, and everybody thinks they're complete garbage. They made them like more garbage than in the World at War and Black Ops 1 remake, which everybody hates. They made the ray gun the most shitty ass gun in the game. The Wonder Waff, on the other hand, that is like really garbage, and it's definitely not as good as the old Wonder Waff from World at War and Black Ops 1. And personally, I think that's why don't people like people don't like it because. If they aren't, like, most people think that if a gun isn't better than in the next game, then it won't be good and nobody will use it. Plus with the factor of now there is, like, Blast Furnace and all those double pack punches now that just overpower the Ray Gun and the Wonder Wolf, so there's no point in using them at all. Now our second con in general is just weapons in general. They did not bring back any of the, the nostalgic guns from World of War and Black Ops 1 which people wanted and they were very thirsty for and they, people wanted the PPSH, people wanted all this stuff like the Thompson and the Tommy gun but like they did not bring them back. The only thing they brought back from that, the, the old maps were the Wonder Waff and nobody ever even wanted this Wonder Waff because it's so crappy anyway. Now the last con we have here on our list is there is no easter egg to this map. Now first and foremost, some people still think there is an easter egg, which I do not think there is one. This is just my opinion, but the reason I think that is because they were not, they're gate worms to do the easter egg. We already, like, I have a gate worm for the giant and there was no easter egg for it. So for that reason, and only, I believe there is no easter egg to this map. And I, that thing's a big buzzkill because for a lot of people, that is a very big factor to playing maps is to do easter eggs and such. So that has been it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed and if so you could if you could drop a like on this video that would be amazing and, and subscribe for more videos. It's been your friendly neighborhood Vector and I'm out guys. Peace.